question number 149 6x plus 2y minus 10 into dy by dx minus 2x minus 9y plus 20 equal to 0 so rearranging we can write dy by dx is equal to 2x plus 9y minus 20 by 6x plus 2y minus 10 Um, let's call this equation 1 now uh, this is not a homogeneous equation we have to convert it into a homogeneous equation and then solve it from there so to for such questions we can use a substitution small x is equal to capital X plus H and small y equal to capital Y plus K to convert it into a homogeneous equation let's call it equation 2 but for this for to use this method we have to first check whether the ratio of coefficients of x in numerator to denominator is not equal to the ratio of coefficient of y in numerator to denominator so here it is 2 by 6 and 9 by 2 so it is not equal to 9 by 2 so this solution can be applied differentiating we have dx is equal to d capital x and dy equal to d capital y Therefore, we have dy by dx equal to d capital Y by d capital X. Call this equation 3. Uh, using 2 and 3 in 1, we have d capital y d capital x is equal to or d capital y by d capital x is equal to 2 capital x plus 9 capital y plus 2h plus 9k minus 20 by 6 capital x plus 2 capital y plus 6h plus 2k minus 10 let's call this equation 4 now equation 4 is not homogeneous but to convert to it into a homogeneous form we have to choose h and k such that 2h plus 9k minus 20 is equal to 0 and 6h plus 2k minus 10 equal to 0. So to find h and k we can use two equation 2h plus 9k minus 20 equal to 0 and 6h plus 2k minus 10 equal to 0. Now we have two variables and two equations solving we have h by 9 into minus 10 so minus 90 minus uh, 20 into 2 so 40 we get minus of minus plus 40 equal to k by uh, minus 20 into 6 is minus 120 minus uh, 10 into 2 minus 10 into 2 is minus 10 so plus sorry plus 20 equal to 1 by 2 into 2 4 4 minus 9 into 6 so 9 into 6 minus 50 So we have h is equal to minus 90 plus 40 is minus 50 by uh, 4 minus 54 is minus 50 equal to 1 h equal to 1 similarly a equal to uh, minus 120 so that minus 100 by 4 minus 50 for k equal to we got h and k let's call this equation now from equation 2 we also know capital x is nothing but x minus h so we found our h value and k value so we can write capital x is equal to x minus h1 and capital y equal to y minus k k is 2 let's call this equation 6 we'll be using equation 6 later in the solution so let's uh, 
apply h's and k's value in equation 4. So using using uh, 5 in 4 we have d capital y by d capital x is equal to 2x plus 9y by 6x plus 2y. So let's call this equation. Let's call this equation 7. This is a homogeneous equation. Uh, so we can solve such equations using the substitution y equal to vx. Let's call this equation 8. Now differentiating equation 8 with respect to x, we have dy by dx is equal to v plus x dv by dx. Let's call this equation 9. Now using 8 and 9, in 7 we have v plus x dv by dx equal to 2x plus 9vx by 6 plus 2vx. Now cancelling x from numerator and denominator and bringing v to the RHS we have x dv by dx is equal to 2 plus 9v by 6 plus 2v minus v. Define 2 plus 9 minus 6v minus 2v square. 6 plus 2v. So simplifying x dv by dx equal to 2 and v minus 6v is 3v dv minus 2v square by 6 plus 2v. Now this equation is in the form is in a form where we can use method of separation of variables bringing all the v terms to one side and x to the other we have 2 plus 3v minus 2v square dv equal to dx by x now so uh, if we see the differential of denominator is minus 4v uh, plus 3 minus 4v plus 3 so we can split this uh, in such a way that we can write this as just check whether plus 9 minus 2 is good that is right right now so we can split the numerator to two parts so that we can easily integrate so that becomes minus 4v we have a minus 4v here Or we will do one thing uh, multiply both sides by minus 1 so it becomes 2v square so this becomes 2v uh, square minus 3v minus 2 okay and we will put a minus sign here so since we multiplied by minus 1 so we have this so the now uh, the this can be and minus four two two we become v. V minus this term is this bit two V plus we take two outside becomes two 
can do it in two ways. Mm. We write this as 2v plus 1 plus 5 the denominator is 2v plus 1 into v minus 2 dv equal to minus dx by x so if you open up we have 1 by v minus 2 plus i by mm, 2v square minus 3v minus dv equal to minus dx by x so we have to convert this into a standard formula so that we can easily integrate so okay so one by v minus two plus we'll take five by two outside okay five by two so that coefficient of v square is 1 minus 3 by 2v minus 1 uh, dv equal to minus dx by x capital dx by x now we can write this as 1 my v minus 2 plus 5 by 2 into 1 by uh, v minus v minus mm, 3 by 4 the whole square minus so we have 1 1 here we add uh, and we will have a 9 by 16 additional 9 by 16 here so we have to subtract it so since there is a minus sign we add 9 by 16 dv equal to minus dx by x now we can integrate and simplify integrate integrating we have integral 1 by v minus 2 dv plus 5 by 2 into integral 1 by So v minus uh, v minus three by four the whole square minus sixteen plus nine is twenty five by sixteen uh, dv equal to minus integral dx by x plus c. So this is a standard f integral formula. There is a standard integral formula to solve it which is integral dx by x square minus a square is equal to 1 by 2a log x minus a by x plus a so this is the standard formula so we can use this to solve this second integral so we will get 1 by v minus 2 dv is log v minus 2 plus 5 by 2 into so 1 by 2a a is 5 by 4 a square is 25 by 16 so a is 5 by 4 so 1 by 2 into uh, 5 by 4 okay into log uh, x minus a so v minus 3 by 4 uh, minus a a is 5 by 4 a by 4 by 
v minus 3 by 4 plus 5 by 4 equal to minus log x plus c so simplifying we have log v minus 2 plus log uh, so v minus uh, so this is minus 8 by 4 becomes v minus 2 by y minus 3 is uh, 2 by 4 so v plus 1 by 2 right let me just check minus 5 minus 3 minus 8 by 4 so minus 2 and 5 minus 3 is 2 2 by 4 is 1 by 2 ok equal to minus log x plus c so bringing all the uh, th log terms to one side and using logarithm properties we have log of v minus 2 um, the whole square by v plus 1 by 2 uh, into x right into x is equal to c we can do e power on both sides we have v minus 2 the whole square into so we can write 2v plus 1 by 2 here it goes to into x is equal to e raised to c which is another constant c1 so we can take 2 to this side so uh, the constant goes so we can write where c1 equal to 2 uh, sorry 1 by 2 1 by 2 e raised to c1 now we have uh, this now we can use the substitution from equation 8 we have v equal to y by x so using that using 8 we have y by x minus 2 becomes y minus 2x by uh, there is an x here so 2y plus x y by x okay by x x x cancels out and this is okay there is an x square then since there is an square here there is an x square so there is an x here also so this also cancels out so everything is is equal to c1 or we can write y minus 2x the whole square is equal to the constant into 2y plus x okay now from equation 6 we can we can substitute from equation 6 we have x is equal to x minus 1 and y equal to y minus 2 x minus 1 and y minus 2 X, capital X is equal to X minus 1 and capital Y equal to Y minus 2 from 6 so we get Y minus 2 minus 2 X uh, minus 2 plus 2 the whole square is equal to C1 into 2Y 2Y minus 4 uh, plus X minus 1 or we have y minus 2x the whole square is equal to a constant into uh, x plus 2y minus 5 this is the final answer y minus 2x the whole square is equal to c into x plus 2y minus 5 so these are the steps
So we use a standard formula. If you are not familiar, take a note of it. This is the only confusing part, splitting this into this uh, into this form into this uh, make converting this form into a form where we can easily integrate is the only difficult part in the question oh yeah the solution to question number 149